She called his name Benoni, son of my sorrow, but his father called him Benjamin, son of the right hand. Genesis chapter 35 verse 18 To every matter, there is a bright as well as a dark side. Rachel was overwhelmed with the sorrow of her own travail and death, yet Jacob, though weeping over the loss of his wife, could see the mercy of the child's birth. It is well for us to find that while the flesh mourns over trials, our faith still triumphs in divine faithfulness. Samson's lion yielded honey, and so will our adversities if we consider them rightly. The stormy sea feeds multitudes with its fish, the wild forest blooms with beautiful flowers, the stormy wind sweeps away the pestilence and the biting frost loosens the soil. Dark clouds distill refreshing raindrops and black earth grows vibrant flowers. Thus, in every mine of evil, a vein of good can be found. Sad hearts have a peculiar skill in discovering the most disadvantageous point of view from which to gaze upon a trial. If there were only one marshland in the world, they would soon be up to their necks in it, and if there were only one lion in the desert, they would hear it roar. There is a tinge of this wretched folly about us all, and like Jacob, we are at times prone to cry, all these things are against me. However, faith's way of walking is to cast all care upon the Lord, and then to anticipate good results from the worst calamities. Like Gideon's men, faith does not fret over the broken pitcher, but rejoices that the lamp blazes forth even more. Out of the rough oyster shell of difficulty, Faith extracts the rare pearl of honor, and from the deep ocean caves of distress, faith uplifts the priceless coral of experience. Even as the flood of prosperity recedes, faith finds treasures hidden in the sands, and when the sun of delight goes down, faith turns the telescope of hope to the starry promises of heaven. When death itself appears, Faith points to the light of resurrection beyond the grave, thus changing our dying Benoni into our living Benjamin. Amen.